everybody today we will crochet this easy cocoon cardigan we will crochet this rug from a rectangle and there is no shaping involved it has a pretty pattern involving puff stitches and it is very easy to make we can make this rug in sizes xs to 5xl the written pattern has been linked in the description box below along with the time stamps so you can skip ahead to whatever part you want this is a step by step easy beginner tutorial for cocoon shrug hello and welcome to let's all crochet please subscribe for similar crochet tutorial we can use any medium weight or weight for yarn to crochet this shrug i am using lion brand pound of love so this is a medium weight yarn Each skein has 454 grams. It is a 100% premium acrylic yarn. The shade I am using is pumpkin pie. We will also need a 6 mm or a J size crochet hook, scissors, measuring tape, tapestry needle and some stitch markers. Now let's begin. So we are going to make this shrug from a rectangle. It is very easy. We are going to start by chaining this width here. Then we will repeat the rows till we reach the required height. Once we have the rectangle, we are going to go ahead and fold it and make the armholes. I will teach you how. So this is a rough schematic on how to measure the sizes. Let's take a second to laugh at my drawing. I'm really sorry. The width of the shrug is where the sleeves are going to fall on our arms. and the height of the shrug is how tall the shrug is going to be you can adjust the width so if you want this to be more oversized you can make it wider or if you want it to be narrower you can make it narrower for the height of the shrug we will measure from our neck till our rear or however long we want our shrug to be i'm going to begin by chaining this width and i'm going to leave some general sizes on the screen and you can adjust them like i just showed you begin with a slip knot we can make this however we want Once we make a slip knot, we are going to chain a multiple of six plus three. We are going to chain the width of our shrug, so we can chain any multiple of six plus three. That means we are going to keep chaining six till we reach the width of the shrug, and to the end we will add three chains. Let's do it together. Yarn over, and then pull through. This is our first chain. Yarn over, and pull through. This is our second chain. Three, four, five, and six. Now we are going to chain six again. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we are going to continue chaining six till we reach the width of our shrug. I will meet you there. So I've finished chaining a multiple of six and I've reached the required width. And now I'm going to add three chains. Yarn over and pull through one, two, and three. And now we are going to begin row one. Row one. We are going to double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. The loop on the hook does not count as a chain. Skip this first chain. Skip the second chain. Skip the third chain. And this is our fourth chain. We are going to make a double crochet in it. So yarn over first. Insert your hook into the top loop. You can also work into the back loop or any loop you want. And we are going to yarn over and then pull through. We have three loops on our hook. We are going to yarn over and pull through two first. We have two loops on our hook. Yarn over and pull through these last two. So we have made our first double crochet. Now we are going to go to this next chain and make a double crochet in it as well. Yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over and then pull through. We have three loops. Yarn over and pull through two. We have two loops. Yarn over and pull through. Go to this next chain here and make a double crochet in it. So in the same way, we are going to make a double crochet in every chain till the end of the row, and I will meet you there. So I've reached the end of the row, made a double crochet in the last chain. If we count all our double crochets, we are going to have the number of chains we made minus two. Let's go to row two. Begin with a chain one, yarn over and pull through. Now we are going to turn our work. Now this chain one does not count as a stitch. So we know the loop on the hook is not a stitch. This chain one is not a stitch. We are going to start working in this first stitch. So into this very first double crochet that we see, insert your hook below both the loops of the V. Then we are going to yarn over and pull through. We have two loops on our hook. Yarn over and pull through both. So we have made a single crochet in this first double crochet. So now we are going to begin the repeat pattern for this row. 
chain 2 first. 1 and 2. Now we are going to skip the next 2 stitches. So we are going to skip this double crochet and skip this double crochet. And come to this double crochet. We are going to make a V stitch in it. So we have worked in this stitch. Skip 1, skip 2 and make a V stitch in this double crochet. So yarn over and insert your hook below both the loops of the V. Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through 2. Yarn over and pull through both these last 2 loops. Now we are going to chain 2. 1 and 2. And now we are going to go back to this very same stitch and make another double crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch and make your double crochet. So our V stitch is going to be a double crochet, chain 2 and a double crochet. We are going to chain 2 again. 1, 2. We are going to skip the next 2 stitches. So we are going to skip this one and this one and come to this stitch. Make a single crochet in it. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through both. This is the end of our repeat and we are going to continue repeating this pattern till the end of the row. I will do it with you once again. So let's begin by a chain 2, 1, 2. We are going to skip the next 2 stitches, skip and skip. In the next stitch we are going to make a V stitch which is a double crochet, chain 2 and double crochet. Double crochet first, chain 2 and double crochet in the same stitch. So after our V stitch we are going to chain 2. We are going to skip the next 2 stitches 1 and 2 and in the next stitch make a single crochet. Now we are going to continue repeating the pattern till the end of the row and I am going to meet you there. I have reached the last repeat of the row. I am going to make it with you. We are going to chain 2. We are going to make a V stitch. So skip 1, skip 2, V here, double crochet, chain 2, double crochet in the same stitch. Then we are going to chain 2 again, 1 and 2. We are going to skip the next 2 stitches. And now we have reached chain 3 that we had skipped in the beginning. So in the third chain of the chain 3, we are going to make a single crochet. At the bottom here, we have our first chain. In the center, this is our second chain. Here we have our third chain. We are going to make a single crochet in it. So insert your hook into the third chain. Three. We are going to begin with a chain four. One, two, three and four. Now we are going to turn our work. In this row, we are going to make our puff stitches. So we are going to begin by making a puff stitch in this V that we see here. So remember in the last row we have made single crochet and then V stitch. Single crochet and then V stitch separated by chains. So in every V stitch we are now going to work our puff stitches. Let's do it. So we are going to make a puff stitch now. Yarn over first and insert your hook into this chain 2 space of the V stitch. So insert your hook like this. Then we are going to yarn over and pull up a long loop. So you want to pull it up to this height. Yarn over. Insert your hook into the same space. Yarn over and pull up a long loop. Yarn over and insert your hook into the same space. Yarn over and pull up a long loop. Now we are going to count our loops. We are going to have 7 in all. Once we do that, we are going to yarn over and pull through 6. So if we want, we can just hold this last loop with our finger like this. Yarn over. Turn our hook a little bit like this. So it's easier to pull through the 6 loops. When we pull through 6, we are going to have 2 left on our hook. We are going to yarn over and pull through the last 2. Now we have made our first puff stitch. We are going to chain 2 and make another puff stitch in this same V stitch. So chain 2 first, 1 and 2. Go back to the same V stitch and make a puff stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook into the same V stitch. Yarn over and pull up a long loop. We are going to do this 2 more times. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull up, yarn over, insert, yarn over and pull up. Now if we count our loops, we are going to have 7. Once we do that, we are going to yarn over and pull through the first 6. We are going to have 2 loops left. We are going to yarn over and pull through the last 2. 
Now we are going to chain 2 and make another puff stitch in the same V space. Chain 2. Let's begin our puff stitch. Yarn over. Insert your hook into the same space. Yarn over and pull up a long loop. I'm going to repeat this two more times. If we count all our loops, we are going to have seven. Yarn over. Carefully pull through the first six. Now we have two loops left. We are going to yarn over and pull through the last two. So we have made three puff stitches in the same V stitch separated by chains and now we are just going to chain one. Now we are going to jump to our next V stitch and repeat the same pattern. So we are going to work into this chain two space made by this next V stitch. Remember this is a single crochet. So we are not going to work into this space and we are not going to work into this space. We are going to jump into the space here in the V stitch and work into this. This is going to be the repeat pattern for this row. Puff stitch into this V stitch, yarn over, insert your hook into the V, yarn over and pull up a long loop. Repeat this two more times. Now we are going to have seven loops, yarn over, pull through the first six. We have two loops, yarn over and pull through the last two. We are going to chain two and make a puff stitch again into the same V. Chain 2 again, puff into the same V. So we already know how to do this now. After we finish all our 3 puff stitches separated by chains, we are going to chain 1. Now we are going to jump to this next V and repeat this pattern. And we are going to continue till the last V. I will meet you at the very last V. So now I have reached the end of the row. So I have made my very last repeat of puff stitch chain 2, puff stitch, chain 2 and puff stitch. After this, we are not going to chain 1. So after the last repeat, we are not going to chain 1. We are going to go to a single crochet that we see here and make a triple crochet. So this was the first single crochet that we made and we are going to make a triple crochet in it. Yarn over twice, insert your hook into the single crochet. So you are going to turn it and see both the loops, insert your hook into both the loops. Then we are going to yarn over and pull through. So now we are going to have 4 loops on our hook, yarn over and pull through 2 loops. We have 3 loops on our hook, yarn over and pull through 2. We have 2 loops on our hook, yarn over and pull through the last 2. I'm sorry. And this is our triple crochet. Let's go to row 4. We are going to begin with a chain 4. 1, 2, 3 and 4. Turn your work. So this chain 4 is actually a double crochet and a chain 1 stitch. In this row, we are going to start by making a double crochet right after this puff stitch in this chain 2 space. So this is our chain 4. We are not going to work into this stitch. We are going to skip this puff stitch and jump to this chain 2 space that we see here. Right after the puff stitch and make a double crochet in it. So yarn over, insert your hook into the space like this. And we are going to just make a double crochet. So our repeat pattern for this row is going to be chain 1, skip the puff stitch and double crochet in this next chain space. Yarn over, insert your hook into the space and make a double crochet. Chain 1. We are going to skip the puff stitch, jump to this chain space and we are going to make a double crochet in it. Chain 1. Skip the puff stitch, double crochet in the next space. So we're just going to continue doing this till the end of the row and I will meet you at the last stitch. So let's work the last part of the row together. So you can see this is my last puff stitch. I've made a double crochet in the space before it. We're going to chain 1. Skip this puff stitch. Now this is the chain 4 that we started with. We're going to find the 4th chain and make a double crochet in it. This is our first chain, this is our second chain, this is our third chain. On the top here is the fourth chain. So yarn over, insert your hook into the fourth chain and make your double crochet to end this row. Row 5. Now we are going to begin with a chain 3. 1, 2, 3. Turn the work. 
This chain 3 is going to count as our first double crochet and this row is a double crochet row. So now we are going to make a double crochet in this chain 1 space. We have already made a double crochet in the first stitch because this chain 3 counts as a double crochet. So jump to the space and make a double crochet. Now we are going to go to this next double crochet and make a double crochet in it. Always work below both loops of the V. Double crochet in the next chain 1 space. Double crochet in the next double crochet. So this is a very easy row. We are just going to make a double crochet in all the chain 1 spaces and all the double crochets of the previous row. I will meet you at the end of this row. I have reached the end of the row and you can see this is my double crochet in the very last double crochet of the row and here we have a chain 4. So we are just going to go to the space and make a double crochet in it. Yarn over, insert your hook into the space and make your double crochet. Now we want to find the third chain of this chain 4 and make a double crochet in it. So go to the bottom 1, this is the second chain, this is a third chain. So yarn over, insert your hook into the third chain and make a double crochet to end this row. So I have made a very small piece as you can see and this is what our piece is going to look like after we make row 5. So row 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Now for our repeat pattern, we are just going to repeat from row 2 to row 5. So row 2, then row 3, then row 4, then row 5. Once we finish row 5, we will come back to row 2. Row 2, 3, 4 and 5. And continue repeating this till we reach the entire height of this rectangle or till we reach from our neck till our rear. You can make yours however long you want your shrug to be. I will meet you once we finish. I have finished repeating all my rows and this is what my shrug looks like right now. So once we finish making our shrug, we are going to leave a long tail end about 20 to 30 inches and then cut the yarn and now we are going to pull out a loop. So pull on the crochet hook. When the slip knot is at the bottom left, this is the right side of our shrug. Let us make the armholes. So this is our shrug, this is the right side of our shrug, this is the height of our shrug and this is where we made our first chain. We are just going to fold it in half. Now we have the wrong side facing us. So this is our shrug and now we are going to leave a gap for the armhole and add a stitch marker. So on the screen I am leaving some general sizes for the armhole. You can adjust it, make it larger or smaller if you want. We are going to start from the top and leave the armhole. So this is where we are going to start and measure and leave the armhole gap. And we are then going to sew the bottom up. So start here till you reach the stitch marker. We will do exactly the same for the other side. The armhole will be on top. It will be open. And we are going to start sewing from the bottom till we reach the stitch marker here. This is the small shrug that I made. This is the right side. The slip knot is at the bottom left. I am going to bring this top row towards the bottom row like this. So I folded this in half. And now I am going to leave a gap for the armhole from the top here and add a stitch marker here and here. When you add your stitch marker, you want to make sure that the rows match exactly so that the shrug is even and you are going to leave the same distance for both the armholes. And now we are going to begin sewing from the bottom till we reach the stitch marker here. Now on this side, we have left a tail end and we are going to use it to close this side together. For this other side, we are going to attach a piece of yarn and then close it. So I am just going to turn my shrug like this so that this short part faces us like this or the side of the shrug faces us. So when I sew it is easy to sew till the stitch marker and on top we are going to leave the armhole. I want to make sure that the rows match exactly and now we are going to start closing. So with the tapestry needle I am going to go into the first side first and then into the second side. Now tug on the needle. This tail end is in the way I am just going to pull it out. And for this last stitch I am going to go one more time. And you want this loop to lie on the top. Now we are going to go to the first side again, insert our needle and then our second side. Tug on the needle. The loop will lie on top. Come back to the first side, into the first side and then into the second side. Tug on the needle. We are going to continue doing that till we reach the stitch marker here. 
reach the stitch marker now and I'm just going to go one extra time from the first side to the second side with my tapestry needle. After we finish, we're going to weave this tail end in but we're going to do it on only one side of the shawl. So make sure you go through only this top side and not the bottom or you will close your shawl. So I'm just going to go three to four times in the opposite direction with my needle. You can do this in any direction. Once we finish, we're going to take a scissor and then cut this yarn off. You want to make sure the yarn is firmly weaved in. So I've finished closing this side. Let's go to this side. I'm going to turn my shawl so that I can close it easily till I reach the stitch marker. So we're going to take a piece of yarn. Again, it should be about 20 to 30 inches. Take your tapestry needle and we're going to start closing from the bottom end here and make sure you place both the sides exactly against one another. Now we're going to go into the first stitch on this side and then the first stitch on this side. Tug on the needle. At the end here, I'm going to tie a small knot. And now we're going to continue closing in the same way. Go to the first side and now into the second side. Tug on the needle. And this loop is going to lie on top. First side and then second side. Tug on the needle. Now we're going to continue till we reach the stitch marker here. I'm going to come back to the first side and then into the second side. So just try and be as even and neat as possible. I will meet you once we finish this side. Just like the other side, once we reach the stitch marker here, we're going to go one extra time and then weave the tail end in. Cut the yarn. So I'm just going to remove the stitch markers and at this point, since this is the wrong side, we're just going to weave in any extra tail ends. Alright guys, now we have finished most of our shawl. We're now going to open this up and add a border to it. So to open it up, we're just going to do this. And this is what our shrug is going to look like. But remember that this is the wrong side. So we're just going to turn this inside out. And now the right side of our shrug faces up. On the screen, I have left a picture of my shrug. So since my shrug, I made it a square. I have a smaller gap at the bottom here but yours is going to have a wider gap here. So we are going to start attaching the yarn at the bottom here and make a border for our shrug. Now inside is the wrong side of our shrug and when we turn it around here we have our right side. Now let's make the border. So for the shrug I am going to attach my border here. So to attach the yarn we are going to insert our hook from the right side which is this side like this and into the wrong side. So we have inserted our hook like this. Now we are going to take the new yarn in the form of a loop and catch it on our hook and we are going to pull it through and we are going to chain 1. This chain 1 is not going to count as a stitch and now we are going to make a half double crochet. Yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch that we made the chain 1 or where we attached the yarn. Yarn over and then pull through. We have 3 loops on our hook, we are going to yarn over and then pull through all three. So this is our first half double crochet. So now we are just going to tuck this tail end a little and we are going to half double crochet over it so we don't have to weave it in later. In this round we are going to make a half double crochet in all the double crochets of this round. So in the chain below the double crochets we will make a half double crochets. Yarn over and find the chain right below the double crochet. So you can see a small gap in the chain here and we are going to insert our hook into it. This is our next double crochet, insert your hook, yarn over and then pull through. We have three loops on our hook, yarn over and pull through all three. So we worked on this double crochet, this is our next double crochet and we're going to find the small gap in the chain, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through all three. And we're going to continue doing this till we reach the seam here. I will meet you there. So now I have reached this armhole seam of the shrug. We are just going to continue making half double crochets across it and continue making half double crochets all around till we reach the end of this round. So this here is my seam. So I have made a half double crochet in this double crochet. Go to the next chain that you see and make a half double crochet in it. Now we are just going to jump over the seam, find our next stitch and make a half double crochet in it half double crochet in the next double crochet. So the stitch count in this round doesn't matter. Just make a half double crochet in every double crochet. Continue 
all around till you reach the end of the round and I will meet you there. So I've finished my half double crochet round and this is my last stitch. I've made a half double crochet in it. And now we are going to join by a slip stitch to the first half double crochet of the round. So this here is the chain one. Do not work into this. Find the first half double crochet. Insert your hook below both the loops of the V. Yarn over and then pull through and then pull through the loop on the hook. Now we are going to go to round two. Round two is a third loop half double crochet round. We're not going to work into the top of the V that we normally do. We're just going to turn our work and work into the third loop. First, we're going to chain one. Now this chain one does not count as a stitch. We're going to make a half double crochet into the third loop of this very first half double crochet. So we're not working into the top here. Turn the work and at the back here, you will see this loop. This is a third loop. This here is our third loop and we are going to work into it. Top is the V and if you just turn it, this is our third loop. This is our third loop and we are going to work into it. So we're going to yarn over first and then turn our work and find the third loop of the very first half double crochet. So insert your hook into it and we are going to yarn over and pull through. Your three loops, yarn over and pull through all three. Now we are going to go to the next stitch and find the third loop. Yarn over, turn your work. Here is our third loop. Make a half double crochet. Yarn over, find the third loop. Make a half double crochet. So in the same way, we are going to continue all around and I will meet you at the end of this round. Make a third loop half double crochet in all the stitches. So I have reached the very last stitch and made a half double crochet in the third loop of the stitch. Next we have a slip stitch of the previous row. After that we have a chain 1 stitch. So we are not going to slip stitch into these two stitches. We are going to find the very first half double crochet of this round and make a slip stitch in it. So insert your hook below both the loops of the V. Yarn over and pull through and then pull through the loop on the hook. So now the border is going to be very easy. We are just going to continue repeating round 2 as many times as we want. Let's make round 3 which is a repeat of round 2 again. We are going to begin with a chain 1. This does not count as a stitch. Yarn over and find the third loop of the very first stitch. Insert your hook into it. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all 3. Yarn over, we are going to go to the next stitch. Find the third loop, half double crochet. I'm sorry, half double crochet. And continue till we reach the end of the round. I have reached the end of the round and we are going to join by a slip stitch to the first half double crochet of the round. Remember this is a slip stitch, this is a chain 1 stitch, does not count as a stitch. This is our first half double crochet. Insert your hook and make your slip stitch. And now I am going to repeat round 2 one more time. So I am going to have 4 rounds in all. I will meet you once I finish my repeat. You can make this however broad you want. Just keep repeating round 2 for pattern. So I finished my round with a slip stitch. Now you can see by working into the third loop, we have this pretty chain like pattern that comes up. So now let's go to the armhole border. Before we go, we are going to leave a small tail. We are going to cut the yarn. So this, is, this should be about 5 to 6 inches. Pull out a loop. Now we are just going to weave this tail end in, but make sure you do it on the inside or the wrong side of our shrug. So this is what my small shrug looks like right now. I have made one sleeve and I am going to make the other sleeve with you. So for the other sleeve, we are going to attach the yarn at the seam here. So this is the armhole seam and we are going to attach the yarn here. And same for this sleeve, we are going to attach the yarn here so that it gets hidden along with the seam. So this is my armhole seam and into this corner space here, I am going to attach the yarn. So insert your hook and we are going to catch the new yarn in a loop form, pull it through and then chain one. So attach it exactly like we had for the center of the shaft. And now we are going to make a half double crochet in the same space. Yarn over, go to the same space, make one and make two half double crochet. Both in the same space. Now at the side of the double crochet row, I am again going to make two half double crochet. So at the side of every row, I am going to make two half double crochet. So you can distribute all these half double crochets however you want. I'm just making two at the side of every row. I will meet you at the end of the round. The stitch count again doesn't matter. The rounds of the sleeve are exactly like the center. At the end of the round, we're going to join by a slip stitch to the first half double crochet of the round. Chain one. This is round two. 
We are going to make a half double crochet in the third loop. Continue till you reach the end of the round. So in the same way we are going to end by a slip stitch and we are going to repeat these rounds as many times as we want. So we are going to repeat round 2 for pattern. I am going to make 4 rounds exactly like the center of the shrug. So I will meet you once you finish both the arms. Your cocoon shrug is now ready to wear. The written pattern has been linked in the description box below. If you have enjoyed this video, please like it, share it with your friends and leave me a comment in the section below. Thank you so much for watching. Here are some similar tutorials you may enjoy. See you next time.